Hey guys, this is Dr. Justin Nye with Woodbury Spine and Wellness Center, and today I want to educate you guys on what is probably the most common back injury that we see every single day, and that is disc herniations or disc bulges or just common low back injuries. As we move here from the warm summer season, and it seems like fall is just going to pass us right by, we're actually moving into winter, and a lot of shoveling and a lot of uh, activity with the low back that we don't not normally do during the summer months and so we start to see a lot of different injuries when it comes to the low back and the most common of those are disc herniation or bulge so what happens is and let me explain to you first what is a disc herniation because I believe a lot of times it's something that people are aware of that might have might know what it is but don't truly understand it so a normal sur a spine should look like this we have three different curves throughout the spine this allows the spine to absorb and shock absorb most of the energy and stress throughout the day. But as we make changes or things happen in life, our body adapts and we start to get a bad posture like this. And I'll touch base on why that's important, but when that happens, it starts to create stress that's abnormal on discs. If you look at this model right here, these spines, these small little bones, they have a normal disc and that's the yellow part. It sits in the center and around it are these ligaments that hold that disc into place. This is normal. When things go bad and you're in a misaligned position or you do something that causes this to be injured, what happens is these ligaments can no longer hold it and this disc starts to press out or starts to bulge outward. When that happens, you get a bulge. A bulge can then turn into a herniation. There's some studies that show 80% of human beings are walking around with some sort of a bulge waiting to be a herniation. When you then get the herniation, the disc completely pushes outside of those ligaments and now it's stress on the nerve, stress on the low back, and this can happen with a full herniation or the bulge. But when this happens, you get pain, you get inflammation, shooting stuff down your legs, focalized pain. A lot of times people walk in the office crooked like this because there is so much pain going on there. Understanding what it is is a key component to understanding how you can heal it. And in the next few videos, we're gonna to touch base on that. But understanding that the disc herniation is something that puts stress on the nervous system and causes pain or discomfort is a key component to understanding that it doesn't have to have surgery to remove that. There's multiple natural ways to do that but surgery should not be the first thing you do. You should look at other components such as exercises and things we're gonna talk about throughout this month to relieve that disc herniation. But knowing what it is, is half the battle. Dr. Justin Nye, Woodbury Spine and Wellness Center.